See that opening? Apartment 216. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. That's where I stored my shoes. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Go inside, take the shoes, and leave. And don't touch anything else. Got it? I'm fine, chicken. I'm inside. Don't touch anything. Just get those shoes. What's in here that's got you so spooked? Almost, almost happy. <clears throat> Pretty cozy nest. You shared it with someone. Does he still live here or? Nobody lives there. Just find the fucking shoes and stop asking dumb questions. Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fish? Because that den is my...
vintage 2025. Small fortune in these bottles. your shoes. Great. Now get the fuck out of there. Oh, but it's quite the love nest with the wine and the view and the music. I mean, I'm starting to see a whole new Luan here. And you know what? I don't blame this guy, whoever he was, for liking her. Fuck you, Aiden. I, I didn't... Luan, wait. What? Hakon. Oh, you bastard. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. Oh, shit, Luan! Are you there? Come on. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Just meet me on my rooftop. Get there and wait for me. You can give me the shoes and then fuck off. It figures you'd end up at the place you go when you're pissed off. your sneakers. You should also have this. I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or did he abandon Frank because you broke up? There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's there. sake, you could... Just leave me alone. Luan 
What's going on? You just don't. <laughs> you should know. You should know. I. Saying how you. F Fine. Stick around if you have to. You're getting drunk? No, you dork. Hey. I. Mm, except that's not. Oh, whoops. You know any other? Yeah. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. The stars are so clear, it seemed close enough. <laughs> what about you, Aiden? And what about... Do pilgrims... Uh, well, I'm... Wow. She... <laughs> When I stargaze, I always... You're a Megan. Maybe. <laughs> Pretty much. So, did you meet Hakon when you were building the fisheye with Frank? He and Frank used to hang out with each other a lot. They were friends. It's a simple story, really. I was a young girl looking for attention. He didn't mind having his fun. The good thing is, lesson learned. For life. You still care, don't you? Yeah, I care, Aiden. About the... So the weak little... Are you... And the... You can't turn back the clock. True. Yeah. Good morning, Villador. It's a brand new day, a brand new world. This is your friend Frank broadcasting. Yes, that's right. Broadcasting from the fisheye. From now on, I'll be bringing you all the good news from around Villador. Helping transform this city back into the community it once was. <laughs> The one? The one. Right, folks. Aiden, you there? No offense, Frank, but I really don't have any. Matt was gonna help me find my. I wanna help you. Fine. Be 